Hey again, YouTube. Nut job with Machete back with another review for you. Um, this is both a uh, review that I've been trying to get out of the way um, quite a bit and a response to you, Jake. Yes, yes, you beat me to it. Anyways, <laughs> reviewing the Cold Steel Axe Head Cane. Um, I've had this for pretty much since it was available in Canada. Um, I do occasionally need a cane. Uh, I've taken a lot of kicks to the leg and it's kind of damaged my nerves a bit and then I guess it's been about 18 months now um, about 18 months ago I was hit by a car while walking in a crosswalk and he smoked the same leg so every once in a while I do need a cane thankfully not all the time so uh, I get to buy these it's kind of my excuse uh, test them out and of course you know let you guys know but the cold steel axe head cane well, you guys might have seen my review of the Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn, and if you haven't, I'm going to put a link down below. But this thing came out, and I thought that was actually pretty damn cool. Hey, it's, you know, an axe and a cane in one. It's kind of suitable for me. It's um, actually kind of a cool little item. I know I paused there for a long time, but it, it, how to kind of show it to you guys. Well, walking, I mean, this thing is actually, why don't I show you? I've put a little rubber tip on this thing uh, because I was walking with it quite often and uh, when you're walking on tile or anything like that the bottom is fairly slippery. Dirt and everything fine. Tile, sometimes concrete, a little slippery. So I had one of these left over from the Blackthorn, uh, the Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn and so I popped it on here. With that it actually makes it 39 inches which is just above my hip, so I can actually put all my weight on it if I need to. But it wasn't the most comfortable thing in the hand, so I went ahead and wrapped it in Yonix wrap, uh, tennis racket wrap, and I just wrapped it just right around oops, sorry, here and here on the top. And that was mostly so that, you know, I'm putting a significant downward pressure on it, it doesn't hurt my hand at all. Uh, it wasn't something I was able to do with the Blackthorn, so it was nice to get that on here. It is basically the same material as the Blackthorn, so it's really, you know, it'll flex. You can probably run your truck over it, and uh, it wouldn't even really get damaged. Um, there's a plus and a minus to that. I'll let you know that in a little bit. Uh, but of course, other than its cane use, you can uh, use it as an axe. No, no you can't. You can use it as a bludgeoning weapon, a hooking weapon, uh, self-defense. This pick actually on the back side uh, is actually pretty impressive. Uh, you will see that there's been some damage to mine. Uh, I did use it on some items that I probably shouldn't have, but I'm going to show it to you. So, I mean, smashing the coconut, obviously, kind of fun. Uh, the ice was really just kind of shits and giggles, plus um, great visual, just that exploding ice. And, I mean, I got to use this in a couple of different ways, you know, with the axe head, with the pick head, smacking it like a golf club or a, uh, a cricket bat, you know, using this end. And it actually held up pretty well. One of the downsides of this plastic, though, as you can see, there's been some minor damage. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go, right there. Minor damage to the head uh, from the, this one on the front was from the coconut. Uh, actually into the coconut, it cut it in a little bit, which was kind of weird. And uh, this end was actually dropping it on concrete. It flunked down and bent it down a little bit. 
it's not really all that bad. I mean, obviously bits haven't broken off. I have seen a test where the bottom section of this beard broke off, but I think the guy might have been hitting concrete. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but that's just something to be aware of. This stuff is really tough, but it is not indestructible. So, yeah. But as a cane, it is actually not bad. It's not as good as, say, an orthopedic cane or anything like that. But if you're buying this, you're probably not thinking, oh, I really want the most comfortable orthopedic cane out there. I want something that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> and if necessary, can knock an organ or two. So, for that, it's actually pretty damn good. Now, I got it from Warriors Wonders uh, pretty much as soon as they were available in North America. Um, I can't honestly remember the date, but it was actually a decent price, and of course I'll put a link down below to where I picked it up. Um, Jake, I know you found a better price at Midway, uh, but I'm just going to leave my link to Warriors and Wonders. And yeah, uh, overall, it's actually pretty good. Uh, you can cut it down, of course. I didn't mention that because I didn't do it. Uh, but you can actually trim this down if this is too long. Like I said, with that little rubber foot on the bottom, up to the highest part of the handle is 39 inches for me. Um, without that little rubber bit, well, I'll put the specs and everything down below so you know the weight and all that stuff on the base unmodified model. But I mean, overall, it's actually pretty good. Works well as a cane, um, works very well as a bludgeoning instrument. And uh, actually, even Chris from Prepared Mind 101 was thinking, you know, if you took this as your, kind of your walking stick, you know, if you needed to get up a, a hill or something like that and you needed to reach a tree, well, that beard kind of lets you do that. So, you know, there's other uses for this other than just a cane. For me, it's actually a pretty damn good cane, and I actually think, you know, if you're looking into canes, Blackthorn is an option, this is definitely an option. This is, to me, the more comfortable of the two, so I do recommend this just slightly over the Blackthorn, even though you guys know I love my Blackthorn. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> if you're hearing noise in the background, sorry, the uh, cat just started eating and she's rather loud. But yeah, I can't really add anything else to this, especially with the cat eating so loudly. So I'll just end the review here and I will thank you for watching. And as always, if you like reviews like this, feel free to click like, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, feel free to share this video as much as you want. And until next time, guys, I'm not job with a machete with an actually comfortable and pretty damn decent self-defense item, the cold steel axe head cane. Till next time, guys, stay sharp.